What is up, YouTubers, fans, and subscribers? Um, since this, I am playing on the Xbox 360 console. If you see um, Rage Snacks 33, definitely give me a shout out. Uh, you know, send me a friend request, message me, whatever. Um, I'm always looking for people to talk to, play with, you know, the whole deal. Um, so right now we're gonna get started. Today I'm gonna, I've just posted my Diamond Sniper video. So right now I will be showing you guys the uh, Diamond Submachine Guns. These were very hard to get. Took a lot of effort, but um, I definitely got there, and it definitely paid off because they look absolutely beautiful. Um, so we're gonna first start off. We're gonna go in order. So we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go MP7. Now this gun looks very nice in diamonds. Um, I will show you this. The millimeter scanner. The buttons on it actually have diamonds on the buttons. Check that out. Right there, diamonds on the buttons. The reload looks very beautiful. Also. Um, just pointing out this this gun was okay on headshots bloodthirsties no problem they were uh, just about as good as you could think of but um you know nothing really too much else that I can think of um, so right here this is the second gun uh, the PDW um, very very nice gun. I I honestly think it's overpowered, so that's why I use a suppressor to make it a little bit fairer to the other players. Um, but you know, people think I'm stupid for that. But uh, you know, I take what I do. Um, looks very very nice looking down iron sights. Um, the reload on this thing looks absolutely beautiful, and the handle even has diamonds. Um, but this, oh my god, these iron sights are the most diamonds I've seen on an iron sight. Um, definitely the best. Um, change classes here now this next gun the vector k10 or the vector kid piece of shit this gun pissed me off um it took me about a whole maybe a whole day and a half just to get the 10 essential bloodthirsties i can tell you this if you can't get the 150 um what kills without perks or attachments very easily this gun will be the biggest pain in the ass you'll ever go through. Um, very nice gun. It's very fast fire rate, and the clip on this gun is actually all diamond, if you did not notice. Very, very beautiful. Very nice. Um, so the next gun, we are moving on to the MSMC. Uh, I have the MSMC and the Chipcom in the same class. Now, the MSMC kind of disappointed me. Um, as you can see, there's very, very little diamonds on this gun. Um, very, very disappointing to me. I love the gun and all, it's just very disappointing to see all these diamonds go to waste. Um, definitely looks better gold, but I like the diamond little issue on it. Um, so now we switch over and I just had this on here. The Chitcom. Very, very nice weapon. I love it. It's, uh, it took me pretty damn fast to get this gun. And just, I didn't mention this, the, uh, MSMC, very easy to get everything, every special camo, every headshot, very simple. The Chickum here, uh, very, very, very beautiful down iron sights. Very nice on a hip fire, looks very beautiful. Uh, I love how in the front, if I didn't have the suppressor, I'd show you, there is an actual dime, like huge diamonds, about a dime size on it. Um, they're very big diamonds, but uh, no, definitely paid off. This is a beautiful weapon diamond. The gold and the diamond mixture that they've added in Call of Duty, Black Ops 2 camo, best thing I've ever seen out of COD, or Treyarch, or any game that I've ever made with camos, this is definitely the best. Um, so now I'm going to switch over to the last two weapons, the Peacekeeper, which is a revolution map pack gun, uh, and definitely the Scorpion Evo looks beautiful, it looks very nice down iron sights also, very fast right fire rate. If you do not like, if you like hip fire, use the suppressor, FMJ, and laser will pay off in the long run. But if you're more of a scoped in kind of person, use the foregrip. Use that foregrip a lot. Um, definitely a good gun. Overall, it took me very, almost a day just to get. Um, very nice, very nice, very nice weapon. Um, no problem getting any special camos. It was the easiest gun I've ever gotten special camos on. Uh, so now we move to the Revolution Map Pack gun, the Peacekeeper. This gun looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, 
I can just say this right now, this gun came naturally. I got the gold naturally. As soon as I hit Cryptic Typhoon, I was like, okay, I guess I'll try with this gun. So I got it, and boom, I got this thing diamond, in, or I got this thing gold in about, what, about four hours? I, I always aim for the head, that's why I'm a very good headshotter. Um, definitely. But, uh, since this is the last gun I'm showing to you guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, leave a rate, a comment, and please subscribe. Um, if you would like to see some diamond gameplay with uh, submachine guns, leave a comment and leave a comment uh, of which weapon you'd like to see. Um, please do this. I would love for that to happen. Um, if you guys could recommend me to some like other people, that'd be very, very awesome to me. I would love you guys forever. Um, I will be, I will very, very, I'm going to try to hook up with like YouTube dude. Uh, Minnesota Burns, a lot of them, fam a lot of the famous guys. Uh, I will be trying to get in contact with them and figure out if they would like to do some gameplays and stuff with me, some live commentaries, you know, the whole spiel. But uh, thank you guys and thank you for watching this video. I'm just gonna thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys later.